everyone, this is Trevor reporting for Winnipeg Alternative Media and today I want to talk to you about the recent court decision to toss out a rule change by the U.S. Department of Agriculture that permitted using compost contaminated with synthetic pesticides to grow organic food. Beyond Pesticides, Center for Food Safety and Center for Environmental Health sued the USDA over the rule change. They say the USDA violated the law by implementing the change by means of guidance and without any public input or participation. Caroline Cox is the research director of the Center for Environmental Health and she said we applaud the court's decision to protect the integrity of the organic program. She also said we'll continue to watchdog the USDA to ensure that the program meets consumers expectations for meaningful organic standards. George Kimbrell was lawyer for the plaintiffs and said the court's decision upholds the integrity of the organic standard and is an incredible victory for organic consumers, organic farmers, and the environment. He also said on the flip side, the decision is a resounding defeat of industrial food actors trying to sell out organic integrity to pad their own pocketbooks. And the federal organic standard prohibits the use of any compost containing any substance not allowed in organic farming and a few composts were banned by California organic regulators for organic use when they were found to contain pesticides and the composting and waste management industry along with the pesticide industry and surprisingly the Organic Trade Association they urged the USDA to make this rule change and the Organic Trade Association is a trade group for large organic producers and tried to sell organic consumers out by lowering organic standards and the USDA also tried to sell out organic consumers by giving into these industries and changing their rules by issuing a guidance on how to interpret existing rules and avoided having to initiate a publicly accountable process on a rule change which was not legal as organic watch groups alleged in the lawsuit and uh, rule change which required a public process. The defendants asked the court to dismiss the case but was refused and even had the gall to ask the court to leave the rule in place even if it was passed illegally. Thankfully the court ruled the USDA had violated the law by implementing a rule change via guidance without public participation and struck down the new rule. Jay Feldman, executive director of Beyond Pesticides said the court decision upholds an organic industry that has been built on a foundation of consumer and farmer investment in ecologically sound practices, principles, and values to protect health and the environment. And he also said the USDA has violated a basic requirement of public accountability and the standard setting process, which is fundamental to public trust in the organic label and continued growth in organic production and this story was a while ago but we're talking about and a day after the court's decision is when the Dark Act 2.0 was introduced. Interestingly enough the Organic Trade Association was in favor of the Dark Act 2.0 and wanted to lower organic standards and use contaminated compost with pesticides. I guess we see their true colors and where they really stand. And the Organic Seed Growers and Trade Association was one of the first groups to withdraw from the Organic Trade Association and the president stated the association's this duplicity towards organic farmers and consumers with its support for legislation that preempts existing state laws like those of Vermont and Connecticut that mandate proper labeling for genetically modified organisms. The Organic Seed Growers and Trade Association is outraged by the Organic Trade Association and feel betrayed as they threw their support behind the Dark Act 2.0 to unlabel GMOs. Jim Gerritsen, president of the Organic Seed Growers and Trade Association said it's important for the world to understand that it was the Organic Trade Association that killed our state GMO labeling laws by backing Monsanto Stabenow Roberts bill the Organic Trade Association says this compromise bill was inevitable with or without us and 
Their primary mission, they say, is to protect the integrity of the organic label, not to hash out a labeling standard for GMO food, but the organic seed growers and trade association is not convinced, especially since the Organic Trade Association had the option to reject the Stabino Roberts bill but didn't. On June 27th, the Organic Trade Association said it was more important for the trade group to prioritize the reinforcement of standards for organic foods and the organic label in general than to fight the Stabino Roberts bill, which according to the FDA will exempt most if not all GMOs from having to be labeled. And to me it doesn't seem like the Organic Trade Association is interested in protecting the organic label and organic foods as they claim because you now know they wanted to lower organic standards by allowing compost contaminated with pesticides to grow organic food and the Organic Trade Association cannot be trusted as they seem to have been taken under control by giant food corporations that also own organic brands and I want to know what do you all think about this story and the Organic Trade Association. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and if you leave a comment I'll perhaps mention it in my next video. And thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye.